guys Hello. welcome to our channel thanks for tuning in i'm here with arietta today and okay. she's a really good colleague of mine <laughs> and we're gonna do a duo today a yes, duo look and it's inspired by jennifer lopez who just looks absolutely amazing. amazing the one and only exactly red hot so we're gonna do this look i'm gonna do it on arietta and then we're gonna use exactly the same products Obviously not the foundation. Yeah. And the contour will <laughs> that would be, be funny. I know, you know, right? <laughs> yeah. um, and the concealer, right? <laughs> yeah, that would work really well. <laughs> and also the um, contour will be a little bit different, I think, yes, as well. Probably. So um, we're going to change that, but everything will be the, same. Will be the yeah. same. Yeah. So stay tuned and see how we get this look. So I begin by priming Arietta skin with the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. This is a really good primer, especially for people with oily skin. It just evens everything out and it allows no oil to come through. It's really great because Arietta's got quite large open pores. So I liked that this gave quite a blurry effect on her skin before we got started with foundation. Then I go in with my favourite eye primer which is Urban Decay Eye Primer Potion and then we use the MAC Woodwinked Eyeshadow on the lid to give that beautiful golden hue onto the eyelid. This is like the basis of this entire look. I'm just using a 217 brush just to blend that through, making sure that the colour goes all the way up to the socket and make sure that it's nicely blended. Then I go in with Max Satin Taupe Eyeshadow. I'm using this mainly in the socket, just buffing it into the socket. And any excess goes a little bit over that beautiful wood-winked eyeshadow. This kind of gives it that sexy, soft, smoky look. Then I'm just using a clean 217 brush to clean up the edges, making sure that everything looks nice and soft and well blown out. I'm now going in with Max Vanilla Pigment. This is amazing guys, you can use this on any skin tone and it just really highlights really well and I'm using this just underneath Arietta's eyebrows. I'm using Max Embark Eyeshadow on the outer corners just to give a little bit more depth to this look and I'm using this in the outer socket using the Sigma E20 brush to kind of like give that definition and then smudge it along the lash line and then I'm using the 217 brush just to kind of blend everything through again making sure I do exactly the same underneath the eyes just to really get that lovely smoky look Then I start doing the eyebrows. So I'm using Max Amiga eyeshadow. I like to use eyeshadow because I think it gives a beautiful natural finish to the eyebrows. But you can use anything. You can use pencil or you can use a dip brow pomade, whatever works for you. To smoke up those eyes, I'm using Max Feline Eye Coal. I'm rubbing this into the lash line and also into the waterline underneath the eyes. And I'm just making sure that I really smudge it out with a brush so you really get that beautiful smoky effect. This is going to make Arietta's eyes pop and look uber sexy. Then I'm using Max Carbon Eyeshadow. This is like a nice little black color. You don't want to go too crazy, so I'm just using this on the outer corners and then buffing it in again with the 217 brush. For the skin, I use Trish Macca Voice Tinted Moisturizer Number no. One. This is going to even out Arietta's skin, and I did a couple applications to give her a nice medium coverage. It just gives a beautiful glow to her skin. 
you can see I am working the product into her skin and beating that face. Then I use the Trish McAvoy Flawless Concealer Number 2 underneath the eyes and I'm using the MAC 286 brush. This is beautiful if you really want to get that airbrush effect around the eyes. I love this brush. It's my fave. Um, now I'm going to use the NARS Amande Creamy Concealer to contour and I'm using the Sigma brush to use all to apply all the contours sorry and then I use the Kevin Laquan foundation brush to buff it in this foundation brush is amazing oh my gosh it just buffs everything in it makes everything look seamless I find it's even better than using yes I'm gonna say it, a beauty blender next I use Max taupe contour blush just to kind of contour the rest of Arietta's nose and also in the hollows of her cheeks just the rest of the face going over those areas we've contoured and then I use the Kevin Laquan tropical days this is a beautiful bronzer just to kind of give a beautiful glow to Arietta's skin and enhance those contours I set the skin with hourglass ambient powder in dim light giving an extra glow to the skin and then on the apples of the cheeks I'm just buffing in some beautiful black radiance raspberry blusher. We want to make sure those eyes stand out so I'm using a MAC Mineralize Mascara. This is a brilliant mascara for any of the, anybody who's got like really sensitive eyes. I really really like this mascara and it is black as you can see. Then we line the lips with the Shuamura Red Lip Pencil just to give some definition and a beautiful shape to Arietta's lips. And then I go in with Giorgio Armani's Velvet Liquid Matte Lipstick in the colour 400. Yes darling, looking very sexy and very vintage. So this is Arietta's look. All the products are listed below in the description box. Please remember to give it the thumbs up and make sure that you like, comment and subscribe. You can follow us on Instagram at All Scrubbed Up or you can also follow us on the blog at allscrubbedup.com. To see how Arietta did the same look on me, please go and visit her channel Stripes and Scarlet. And you can also follow Arietta on Instagram at Arietta. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.